Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. I just wanted to shed some light on a feature uh, within the ASRock BIOS called Fan Step Up and Step Down, as well as highlight some opportunities that I feel ASRock can use to improve on. If you are actually within the BIOS, um, you'll see a QR code and then you'll be able to scan it and it will come up with their manual if you pull it up on your phone. Otherwise, you can pull up their manual through their website uh, under support. And if we open up this manual, you'll see uh, chassis fans and most of the fans say, you know, whatever fan and then their number, step up, step down. But the actual description for it doesn't really do it justice. Set the value of chassis fans to step down or step up. That really doesn't give us much information. Now, ASRock has um, been using a, a fairly simplistic setup when it comes to BIOS. Uh, matter of fact, here's the... Z77 BIOS, you can see we got our main OC tweaker, advanced, hardware monitor, boot, security. Same thing with uh, the X99, pretty much the same features. Um, as they progress, ASRock has added more features, more, more tunability, uh, especially focusing on uh, high-end overclocking or exotic uh, cooling overclocking. And then, even though this is a little bit smaller, this is the Z uh, 390 Tachi BIOS and it's basically the same thing that's one of, what I wanted to show you is that they haven't changed much they may have changed the theme but as far as the features and 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 tools it's been basically the same so navigation is fairly simplistic and this is the advanced mode now they do have an easy mode um, if you're a first-time user that is fairly easy to navigate one click you know XMP settings for your memory and so on but the main focus of today's video is about the fans. So the case fans you can tune and you can do it within your operating system which many do rely on but there's a uh, kind of a problem with that especially since the 7700K, uh, I believe the 6700K, 8700K, 9900K most of the Intel CPUs, I haven't really seen it too much on Ryzen but at least the Intel CPUs have an issue where uh, you know the core clock will spike and then the temps will spike with it and so you will get a lot of fans uh, winding up and winding down um, and if you have your fans running at a uh, higher percentage or RPM all the time you're gonna run out those bearings and you don't want to do that so if you want to control your fans and kind of tune it for quiet but performance um, and I know that sounds kind of productive but there is a, a fine line or a, a way to tune to where you're just right in that middle margin to where if you do need the performance and the cooling uh, the fans will ramp up but when you're not using it or, or streaming a video or watching a video then fans will ramp down and you don't have so much background noise now in the fantastic tuning which most uh, motherboards come with these days ASUS, ASRock, Gigabyte you can set your curve according to whatever you like uh, depending on the temperatures and, and control most of your fans whether they're DC, PWM or if you just want to leave it on auto but again you're gonna hit those spikes or have those spikes and that's gonna cause issues so if you don't want your fans to ramp up and ramp, ramp down all the time um, the the operating system is not gonna really help you out and a key a key point here before I continue at the top of this program you'll see there's CPU and motherboard temp that's where you can select whether or not you want that fan as soon as it detects that motherboard or CPU is at a certain temperature to ramp up to the next level. Uh, keep that in your mind because I'm going to touch bases on that here in a minute. But if we set our fans to whatever we like, whatever aggressive curve we want, you'll see that when it hits a certain temperature, so the, the CPU would spike close up to the 70s and then drop back down to the 50s or vice versa. Um, you don't need your fans to kick up and kick down in that few seconds of whatever task you're doing. Obviously you don't want to overheat your devices but you don't need to do too much of that. The step up and step down of ASRock's BIOS is basically set by numbers. And when I mean numbers, I don't mean numbers as in time, as in seconds, but numbers as in it's a predefined uh, specifically by ASRock. So in the fan control um, area of ASRock, you'll see that you have 
level one, level two, and all sorts of stuff. Now, if you're not interested in manually tuning your fans, Fantastic Tuning does do a pretty good job. Fan tuning will open up a GUI where you can load what I was just showing you, where you're, you know, like you're normally in the operating system, A tuning, you can kind of set your bullet points or your line graph however you want for certain temperatures and certain RPMs um, if you don't like to manually key in your numbers. But level one, level two, there's different levels to uh, the step up and step down, which the manual does not cover, which is why I'm trying to share this information with you if it's confusing to you. Now, a couple, it was confusing to a couple people, but it may not be to you, which if it isn't, great. But ASRock has level zero to level nine. The higher the number, the slower the fan will respond. The lower the number, the faster the fan will respond. And that's basically it. Now, as I said, I'm not sure if it was changed in the past, whether ASRock showed it in seconds rather than whatever predefined definitions they have for their BIOS. But don't put your fans on too aggressive because when your CPU spikes up in temperature, and there's a lot of variables of what can cause your temperature to rise. You know, not only is it the case, but how many fans you got, what kind of fans they are, what are the CFMs, uh, how much voltage is your motherboard pushing through that CPU, so on and so forth. So you've got to kind of fine tune or find that right spot for your system and your hardware. But for my CPU, I have level one and level two. So level one, I want it to not be the quickest in response, but you know slightly delayed so in case the CPU spikes up to you know 70 for some reason but two three seconds later slows back down or drops back down to you know 56 60 then it's not going to instantly ramp up be loud and then ramp back down because that is annoying same thing for step down on my CPU I put it for level two but on my other fans uh, like my case fans and stuff I had it set to like level two level four so the case fans will ramp up gradually to keep up with the temperatures uh, being omitted by the hardware and then ramp down or slow down gradually. I don't need my fans to make too much noise as it was doing when I first set up the system. Now I have full control over everything and make sure that I'm getting adequate uh, cooling to all my components, especially the VRMs. Uh, now going back to opportunities, case fans have it, where you can monitor the CPU and motherboard. Now the opportunity I was talking about is, as you can see in this ASUS BIOS, this might not be the latest one, but in there, because uh, I worked with ASUS in the past, they do have a step up and step down, but they're showing it in seconds rather than level 1 through 9 or level 0 through 9. As well, uh, they can target an uh, another component. And what I mean by that is in the ASUS, we could target CPU, VRM, PCM, T sensor, uh, PCI by 16 slot one, motherboard, and then also GPU. Now that's not in every BIOS that they have, or it's not in any every motherboard from my understanding, because I didn't see it in the, the B450 uh, M Plus Gaming from uh, for the Ryzen system. But that kind of control would be beneficial because sometimes, especially in my case, may not be in your case. Sometimes my GPU is doing a workload and my CPU is not working so hard but I want my case fans to compensate for that so I think that would be a great opportunity for ASRock to take advantage of to allow not only for us to uh, monitor sensors not just for the CPU and motherboard but maybe for the GPU or maybe for the VRM specifically and I believe that's what the, they're talking about with motherboard but uh, that, uh, that's not specified if I'm wrong or if you know let me know in the comments below but does that mean, are we watching the chipset temperature? Are we watching the VRM temperature? Like what sensor is basically the motherboard sensor that we will be monitoring? Um, I keep mine on CPU. It may not be as important to, to do the motherboard because usually if the motherboard is getting hot, the CPU is doing something anyways. But I think uh, being able to monitor those, those other uh, components will be nice that ASRock can use as well as instead of displaying in level one, level two, uh, level three, that they actually show it, show it in seconds. So for ASUS, step up means zero second delay. So as soon as the temperature hits a certain level, the fans will ramp up. That would be quite annoying, but you can at least delay it, maybe two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, and so on. So those are my thoughts. I wanted to let you know how ASRock step up and step down works. Hopefully this helps you out so you can fine tune your, your hardware and your configuration a little bit better. Um, I personally 
don't mind Azrox BIOS, but I've been using them for a while, uh, so I'm familiar with it. But to a newcomer, new a newcomer, it is cumbersome. Um, it's the the easy mode's great. It's not doesn't have too many features in it. Um, it's simplistic. Uh, I guess newcomers wouldn't really be in their BIOS unless they needed to flash. Uh, but I think Azrock could at least update the GUI or the look. Besides that, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.